for the EU, this moment could not have been more unexpected. The Nobel Peace Prize for 2012 is to be awarded to the European Union. There were gasps of surprise in Norway, for Europe is facing violent protests. But the Nobel Prize honoured the EU for promoting peace and reconciliation over six decades. I have to say that when I woke up this morning, I did not expect it to be such a good day. It was with great emotion that I received the news of the award of the Nobel Peace Prize to the European Union. The idea of European unity grew out of the barbarism of World War II. Shared institutions, open borders and a single market were intended to prevent war from ever returning to the continent. When the Berlin Wall came down in 1989, the EU acted as a beacon for democracy for countries that had been under Soviet rule. But the Nobel Committee's decision will puzzle some. In the Balkans, the EU failed to act effectively to save lives. I think they're making a political statement that um, you know, they think that the EU has produced peace in Europe. And many of us would argue that in fact NATO, the presence of US and UK troops in Europe, kept the Soviet Union at bay uh, in a much more significant way than the European Union did. And today European unity is being challenged by a debt crisis that is causing new tensions between Northern and Southern Europe, with almost daily protests against austerity. Spain today observed its national day in sombre mood. Recession and unemployment brought protesters onto the streets and many questioned whether this was the right moment for a peace prize. I actually was surprised because it's nice to promote peace but I think it's not a, the best timing for Europe to, to win this Nobel Prize. We really feel part of the European Union and, and it's... Um, is a great, uh, it, it's great news, but surprising. The Norwegian jury today seemed to be trying to bolster Europe in its hour of need, reminding Europeans of what had been achieved. Opinion polls suggest that the EU is unloved by many Europeans, and the European project is still under threat from a debt crisis that is yet to be fixed. Gavin Hewitt, BBC News, Brussels.